speeches. That is all for World News. Coming up in our next edition, 30 minutes from now, we'll look at the controversy over Crash. Atlanta, I'm Fanula Sweeney in London. Thank you for watching. In Belarus, appears to have cooled off for now. Intervention by Moscow has stopped a showdown between the Belarus president and opposition parliamentary leaders. But some observers think the compromise is just a temporary cure. We get more from CNN's Betsy Aaron. It took the persuasive power. Relief force will be sent to Eastern Zaire. Military planners meeting in the German city. Australians now has a conclusion. On Friday, a judge sentenced convicted killer, Martin Bryant, are taking extreme measures in preparation for the Miss World beauty pageant. They've shut down schools, declared... <laughs> ...husband's enemies of pushing Serbia towards Sumi has more. <laughs> ...not stifle the angry crowds of opposition protesters in Belgrade, Yugoslavia, Tuesday. Protests on the street and in the courts against the... ...and the public's confidence in it. CNN's Paris Spirit Chief Peter Hume reports. The damage caused by the... Free at last. A Korean-American goes home after three months of... ...Palestinians into Arab-controlled parts of Hebron. Still, a Hebron deal has yet to be signed and Israel's rocky relations with Syria remain a problem. CNN's Jerusalem Bureau Chief Walter Rogers has the details. Carl Bildt is warning Belgrade to drop its threat to crack down on anti-government demonstrations. He was speaking in Lisbon, where 54 nations are gathered for a major summit on peace and security in Europe. NATO expansion and internal problems in Belarus are also among the issues proving contentious, as CNN's Neil Pe Some kids, 30, 15. 